people! This is Fisher12, and we have another exciting Call of Duty World League video for you guys today. As always, still feeling a little bit under the weather, so I apologize if I sound funky in this video, but today I wanted to talk about crowdfunding. This is a pretty controversial topic, believe it or not. It seems like crowdfunding has reached all other esports except Call of Duty, so why is that? And there also seems to be some negative connotations with an organization that uses crowdfunding, not just as prize pool, but in other situations too, like a fundraiser or something similar. So let's discuss crowdfunding. Is it good? Is it bad? Should it be part of our scene? Should it not? I'm going to get both sides of the coin and then my thoughts on the issue. So the two sides to crowdfunding. There's one side that is obviously for crowdfunding. They see it as a great way to acquire additional revenue. It allows us fans to be monetarily invested in the game, in matches, in the whole shebang. Even if it's $5, that $5 I'm choosing to spend on this thing because I care about it and it's important to me. And this is a win-win situation. I'm happy that I contributed not only to the prize pool this year, but also to the greater growth of my eSport. And the developer wins because they now have a larger prize pool to give away, and it makes them look better as well. Players also have the chance to win more money, so they're happy about that too. And, you know, this is a little stretching it, but organizations in turn might take an interest in this eSport after seeing how much money is involved and how passionate the community is to essentially give away hard-earned money to other people for free. Crowdfunding is a very wholesome concept, but also a very successful one too. You look at sites like Kickstarter or Indiegogo, which are all about crowdfunding, and look at some of the technologies that come out. It's great. Crowdfunding is a fantastic thing. But on the other side are the group of people that see crowdfunding as a crutch, as a ball and chain, as an obligation. The theory behind crowdfunding is very sound, and the initial execution is usually pretty successful. But that's typically in situations where crowdfunding only needs to happen once. For a product on Kickstarter, there's only a one-time source of crowdfunding, whereas a prize pool in esports is needed every year. So crowdfunding would have to happen every year, and people on this side of the coin don't want to rely on crowdfunding because of the yearly inconsistencies. What if one year you crowdfund $5 million for a prize pool, but the next you only source $2 million? Well, lowering your prize pool by $3 million does not typically shout success and growth, and the developer receives all the flack for having a small prize pool when they have contributed the same amount each year. I mean, they could have contributed more than last year, but still have fallen short with the crowdfunding. So this side of the coin is anti-crowdfunding because it's not a reliable source of revenue. Now let's take all of that and put it in the context of Call of Duty Esports and Call of Duty Champs. This is the first year that the Call of Duty World League is operational. Even though Activision have put on events before and they've worked closely with MLG, and actually now that I think about it, the league is through ESL who has tons of experience putting on events. Ultimately, this is still year one. There are a lot of things to figure out and plan, and maybe crowdfunding wasn't on the agenda for year one. Totally possible and equally as understandable. They could be waiting till the World League starts before announcing a crowdfunded prize pool. Who knows? Maybe they wanted to wait and see what teams qualified, because if they announced a crowdfunded prize pool before teams qualified, and let's say for whatever reason Optic didn't qualify, there would definitely be backlash from fans who already donated, but now want their money back because their favorite team is and playing. I think a user on the COD competitive subreddit said it best. He was answering why having a consistent prize pool is important. He said, if your prize pool varies year to year in a negative way, it shows that your game is not consistent. You're not capable of maintaining your audience, which reflects poorly upon the company. This would be an even bigger issue in Call of Duty where there are three developers and most fans prefer one over the rest. And I think that last line is the most important one. It really sums up the issue. It's a bigger issue with Call of Duty because we have three different developers and we definitely have a favorite one. So going back to the idea of crowdfunding and having a different size prize pool each year, I think it's 150, 200, 300% possible and likely that if crowdfunding was an option, this year or any other Treyarch year would see more money funded than when Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer is hosting Call of Duty. I mean, come on, no one would contribute to a prize pool for Ghosts 2 or anything involving an exosuit. So I think Activision has an unusual situation that really hinders the possibility of crowdfunding. And I think my thoughts on the matter are aligned with Serbia. Crowdfunding would be great, and there's no doubt that it would be hugely successful this year, 
but next year would likely not be as successful and the year after that might be even less. Not to mention that Activision also heavily contributes to the Call of Duty Endowment Fund which tries to help soldiers migrate back into the workforce after their deployment, and I think Activision would rather see us donate money to that cause than a prize pool. But ultimately, I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts on the matter. Do you think Call of Duty Champs should have a crowdfunded prize pool? Why or why not? Let me know down below, but that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's video. If you found it helpful, if you found it useful, if you enjoyed the topic, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new here looking for more Call of Duty content, whether that be Zombies, World League, or Multiplayer, then go ahead, click on that subscribe button, because I'm going to be delivering that content to you. I upload Monday through Friday, but other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care. Mm -hmm.